guys so it is february 8th it's about 12 45 at night i am trying to talk quietly because i just walked into our room and i found jake asleep with his ipad still running it was really cute so i just shut it off but um i wanted to check in uh tonight we went out for my mom's birthday celebration which was really fun um but although I was away from my desk all day, just like hanging out with her and enjoying the day and celebrating, today was also the day that I launched the product I was teasing in my photo shoot that has been a long time coming. And if you haven't seen it already, then this will be a surprise, but I have talked about it on Instagram since the 8th. But it is this which is my yoga mat collaboration with local brand look at dat mat um, they are based out of tempe they are a newer brand and i've been following them since right in the beginning and they are just known for these really punchy fun colorful designs that you don't usually see on yoga mats so when they approached me to do this design i was like totally all in it's actually been in the works since october and i want to even say september was when they first reached out because um i can remember that when i went to san francisco to visit all my friends um i did post a vlog of that trip um the first morning that i sat in the coffee shop and worked i was editing all my files and making them um, design ready so that their in-house designer could just start working with them and get everything rolling. And throughout the design process, uh, they sent me like six or eight mock-ups, I wanna say, and we were playing with both my Prickly Pear Bloom collection watercolors and then also my Technicolor Saguaro watercolor. And this is ultimately the design I chose and like could not be happier with it it's just so colorful and full on the mat and just not something i usually see on yoga mats and um i just couldn't be happier with like the vibrancy of it the quality of it the quality of the packaging i took photos um as you know he came over and we did a, a shoot here in uh, my studio and in the living area and he is like their in-house guy and that was a treat, like the whole thing was cool. So as of today, um, they went live today. Uh, the response has been so awesome. I put up this, oh my phone is dead, but I put up, I'll insert a picture. I put up like this trio image on my Instagram so you could see the whole mat across three images. And there were like an insane amount of comments on each photo, like it wasn't just on one of them. So I still need to get to responding to everyone i think i responded to like maybe a third but i need to do that and uh the response has been so great but uh i probably should get to bed i just spent the whole night cleaning the kitchen area this is still some laundry that needs to be done but it's looking good nice and clean just trying to get back into like refreshing since we've been gone and i just wanted a fresh start for the rest of the week and the weekend i'm gonna work a lot this weekend just because i missed um a few days with being out of town and stuff but this weekend is the prada del sol which is a really cool traditional festival here in scottsdale with like horses and um just part of scottsdale's history i am rambling now i can talk about this later like why am i talking about this now these are the things I talk about right before 1 a.m. So I'm gonna go to bed now, but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I just wanted to document this moment because it's been a really exciting day of releasing the yoga mats and everyone's response has been so positive and nice, which happens. I'm just so, like every time I announce something, you guys are so excited about it and congratulate me and are happy for me and like happy to collect the new piece, whatever it may be. And like, that's all I could really ask for. So it's awesome. It's awesome. Thank you. I'm going to bed now so I can keep at it tomorrow. Good night. Hey guys, good morning and happy Saturday. Today is in Scottsdale, the Prada del Sol. It's a really fun parade, Parade of the Sun, and it's all like about local businesses and very focused on horses. 
I believe it is either the largest horse parade in the country or the largest horse parade in the world. I'm not exactly sure. But I'm so stoked to go because for many years when I lived in California and went to school, I could never go to the parade because I would be away at school. So when I have the chance to go, I love going. I think I had to miss last year too for whatever reason, but it's a beautiful sunny day here in Scottsdale and I live in the area so it's not super far. I'm just gonna drive and meet up with my parents, get some breakfast and then hang out and watch. So I'm stoked, we usually like find a little spot and sit. I thought I would show you guys my outfit that I'm wearing. So as you guys may have known or maybe seen clips of or like photos at this point, when I was in California over the weekend, I went to Santa Inez where Plenty Boutique is and they are one of my new stockists and they carry my green cards and my pins in their store. It's mostly apparel and jewelry, but when I went, I was like blown away. Like it's the cutest store I've ever been to. They also have an online store. Like I was like dying. I got basically a whole new wardrobe and I loved it. And one thing I got was this and it was handmade by a woman in Santa Barbara. It has this like hand patinaed and I know this is kind of like an out there item but I'm excited to wear it because it just holds your phone and some money and I really like fanny packs when I lived in Copenhagen they were very in style so I love them I used to wear them like over the shoulder though but I figured if there was ever a day to wear it it would be to wear it to like this cowboy horse festival so I'm wearing it let's go <laughs> 